world of growing technology, digital media has become a popular form of reading. Reading digitally is a standard way of teaching students. Students nowadays are prompted to read digitally by both parents and their teachers. Universities and colleges are now turning towards an education revolving around online textbooks. People do assume that this is better, but has anyone ever taken a step back to look at what we're losing? This is important to know because just like me, we're all students and as the pandemic has gone on, we've all turned towards this online education. And it's important to know what we're losing by turning towards this online education. I've done thorough research on how digital media and printed media are different and how they affect the minds of students. Printed media is a better alternative to digital media, media because of convenience, personal touch, and the comprehension levels of printed media. First, I'm going to describe the convenience. Second, I'm going to explain the personal touch. And finally, I am going to discuss the comprehension levels of printed media. Printed media is a better alternative to digital media because of convenience, personal touch, and comprehension levels of printed media. So when people think of convenience, it boils down to price, availability, and time. Um, prices can vary very differently between printed and digital media. According to Amazon, the book Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling cost $8.99 digitally, and the printed copy is only $4.87. This is a huge difference and can affect the ability for people to buy it. So with printed media, it's easier to reuse over and over again and share with friends and family, unlike digital media. Um, reusable books are also much cheaper, which you cannot get through digital media. Now, availability of a certain uh, digital media can sometimes be limited, unlike printed media. So everything in the world right now is at the push of a button. On many different devices, you can research many different things at a time. However, the availability of these also affects your time. So, so devices are not always reliable, whether it be Wi-Fi issues, pulling up a website issue, or even a charging issues. All of these can be affected on digital media that is not affected on printed media. So printed media is a truly take anywhere at any time sort of media. So now that I've kind of explained to you how printed media is better than digital media through convenience, I'm going to go into personal touch. So when we read, we make memories and feelings with printed media that we don't make with, with digital media. So according to Horn, a blogger on the Elister in a 2016 article called Why Humans Prefer Printed Books states that when you read along a printed book, you subconsciously or consciously track your progress by sensing the ratio of pages that you've read to, to the yet to be read pages. In the middle section, is, if the middle section is less interesting, you are more likely to plot through by being encouraged that you are making physical progress in the book. This tactical feeling of progress is, is an analytical estimate and is more natural than a digital page number. The other thing that goes along with this topic is that you get lost, right? So when you're reading printed, it, your mind memorizes and makes memories of different uh, words or different configurations of the page to help you find your place if you lose it, unlike digital media. This takes me straight into the feeling that printed books have over digital. So in Linda Bennett's blog article called The Printed Versus Digital Debate states that for some reason, the tactical feedback um, people get from a printed book is just as much a part of the experience as the content of the book itself. For many people, the smell of a book can invoke a memory from their past that adds a nostalgic feel to the, to the reading experience. 
Um, this changes how people will want to re read books unlike digital media. So why is this important to students? This brings me to the comprehension level. So a lot of students like to um, like to read digitally because they think they're better, faster, and they like it more. So um, a lot of students speed read through digital readings. According to Barron, a staff writer from um, New Republic states in his 2016 article called Why Digital Reading is No Substitute for Print, states that students say it, it takes more time to read the same number of pages in printed compared to digital. Another complaint, it takes more time because they read more carefully. This is because we have the effect of skimming through online readings, which are not, is not as much present as it is in digital media than printed. Let's go into the scrolling. So scrolling kind of affects um, students because it makes it harder to find your location in certain, um, certain readings. According to Alexander, a writer for Business Insider, claims in an article called a, a new study shows that students learn way more effectively from print textbooks than screens. States that students were able to better comprehend info in print for texts that were more than a page um, long. This appears to be related to the disruptive effect that scrolling has on comprehension. Like I said before, scrolling makes you lose your place and makes you have gaps in your memory of what you understand about your reading. This goes into why do people like it so much? So um, even though people find um, digital m more appealing, like I said throughout my speech, it kind of just cuts um, what you understand as a whole, right? So, so Tim Walker, a writer for Neo Day, um, in a 2017 article called Students Choose Digital Over, Over Print, But At What Cost, states that students live in a world where digital is, is common, commonplace. So yes, they obviously say they prefer it. Digital always wins. But if you give them a test and ask them to rank how they think they did, you, you will find that they may have a, built an illusion that they understood better by reading digitally. So today I've gone over um, today I've gone over the convenience of of printed media, the personal touch, and I also discussed the comprehension levels of printed media. Printed media is a better alternative to digital media because of the convenience, personal touch, and comprehension levels of printed media. So why is it best for students, right? So with students, it changes from person to person. However, I think most currently with the pandemic going on and all of um, schooling changing to online, it has really affected students both negatively and positively. So I want you to take a minute next time you are reading something online or, or reading something printed and take notice of how you memorize location, how you lose your place in digital, how overall your con and comprehension level of your reading changes between these two medias.